Hey guys, Kelly Walters here, and we have been asked time and time again if we could do some type of content showing you guys how to access the Easy View Designer within TransferExpress.com. So today's your lucky day, and I'm gonna show you how to utilize one of their templates, gang a sheet using one color, and add to cart and finish the checkout process. So what we need to do is share my screen, that way you guys, that way I can walk you through how to go step by step, adjust art, gang the sheet to maximize um, you know, your dollars, and then show you how to add to cart. So let's go to the computer. You do need to have a login and an account with Transfer Express. This is free. This is very easy to do. All you have to do is go to the website, transferexpress.com, and sign up, and you will have access to be able to utilize the templates, place your orders, upload any artwork, and get the screen printed transfers that you need. So now you can see we are ready to move forward with the website. So I am going to bring that full screen and we will walk through the process. Okay, as you can see, we are on transferexpress.com and I am signed in currently. Now, you may see some pricing, but keep in mind, this may not be accurate with what you're seeing simply because this is my stalls account. So just keep in mind, but I wanna show you how things will be calculated. So you can see right here with all of their tabs, they've got the transfers, the names and numbers, design center, upload artwork, wholesale, and of course your heat presses. We wanna to go to Design Center. That is going to take us to the Easy View Designer. And as you can see, it's going to show you all of the options you know, that you can really do within this website. Now, as this is loading, let's quickly view or go over the Get Started page, and then I will show you the surrounding content with on this website. Easy Prints Layouts means it's the template. So Transfer Express does an excellent job of constantly updating and uploading new templates um, for our customers. So you can always check back and manipulate most of these layouts. Now you can also add clip art to your personal art or if you are wanting to create something on your own. Here you can see you can add your own artwork and um, you can also resume your last session, open up any jobs and of course artwork that's recently been used. So I'm gonna exit out of this. And from here over on the left side, you can see you can add text, clip art, layout, which is templates, and of course upload your own artwork. This would be if you are the designer yourself and you are uploading um, something that you've already created or if it's your customer's artwork. So let's go to add layout and it's automatically gonna pull the promo layouts. This is what is popular, what's new, what's trending. And as you can see, you can load more and just keep scrolling. There's full color, there's one color, there's two color. A lot of these you can turn full color or simply adjust the colors. We're gonna go with the you are enough. And as you can see, it pulls it in. Now let's look at this standard sheet size. It's showing that we have 11 and a half by 14 inches to work with in terms of our sheet size. So if we were keeping this art 11 by 11, then we only have just a little bit more room to work with in terms of adding other content. So let's pause on this. Let's look up at the top here. You've got the undo button. You can um, add effects, distress, apply patterns. You can duplicate, which we will go through. Group, ungroup, delete, select all. Of course, aligning is centering or pulling the logos to the left or right. If you have something that you want to layer, push behind, 
And then of course, I actually like this artboard tab because you can choose to change the layout of your sheet by portrait or by landscape. Don't be afraid to change the size to see if you can maximize the room that you're working with or perhaps how you like to lay out your artwork. On this side, we'll walk through this a little bit later in the video. Um, it, this is exactly how you will verify all of your um, options and confirm your order and add to cart. Sorry, that took me just a minute to get out. So now that we've got our art, what I'm going to do is highlight that whole thing. I'm going to go to object and I'm going to group it. The reason being is I want to be able to just click it and move it and not worry about taking any of the art apart. From here, I'm moving it to the corner. I just really want to maximize my sheet. I feel like 11 by 11 is pretty big, so we're going to take it down to, let's go nine and a half. And it's almost a perfect square. So we've got nine and a half by nine and a half in terms of size. Again, you can confirm that right here. You can lock in the ratio if you want to um, adjust it accordingly, or you can unclick this and stretch it or make it taller. Now, if you want to rotate it, you can type that in here and really just, you know, help maximize your sheet. As you can see, it's currently black, but if we wanted to make it cyan, then we will see the color it's going to pull up. For viewing purposes, we're going to keep this black nice and clean. And then you can even go down here and apply um, any type of distressing easily to your art. All right, now you can also show grid lines if you want to um, you know, have this aligned as best as possible. If you prefer to work off a of grid, then this will be an excellent tool for you. So from here, what I'm going to do is Control D, and I am going to duplicate the art. Now, you can also go to Object and select Duplicate as well, but I prefer short keys. From here, I am just going to shrink that by dropping the arrow and then reposition it to the top corner. I'm going to go over here. I want this to be, um, let's say, three and a half. So now I have created a left chest size, um, three and a half. This could be something that you use the back neck, you could use it on bags, just whatever you want. Next, I am going to select object and ungroup. This is where I'm going to maximize um, the board and the artwork possibility. I'm going to duplicate this. And now I have only selected the floral arrangement. I love this for uh, a neck graphic. So what I'm going to do again is ungroup, and that's going to separate the two. From here, I am going to make this one just a little bit bigger. Let's go four inches. And now I have another piece or another element that I could utilize in either this t-shirt or maybe this is my brand and I utilize that flower in several different places. Maybe it goes on um, the neck, like the neckline, the collar, maybe it goes on the sleeve. Just there's a lot of different options that you could add this element. I'm going to duplicate that because I want to. And I'm just going to adjust it a little bit more. Next, I want the you are more than enough. I'm going to group that, duplicate, and then move this art. Again, I want to make sure that we are three and a half inches wide. And I am actually going to flip this 180 degrees. And the reason being is because when I go in and I cut these logos apart, 
I know that I could essentially fold this logo and create a midsection versus, um, you know, flipping it around and doing it from the bottom. For aligning purposes on a garment, I just prefer it this way. So now you can see we have a full size logo. We've got a full um, full art left, left chest or just a three and a half inch wide. We've got two floral arrangements that we can work with and then just the simple font. I'm gonna duplicate this one more time and gonna add that right there. Now in this case, let's maybe make this just a little bit smaller. It might be fun to hide this logo in several of our t-shirts, just giving our customer a fun little surprise. So as you can see, we've got one logo, two logo, three logo, four and five, but we've actually added seven logos to this entire sheet. We're not paying per logo. We are paying for the 11 and a half by 14 sheet. So from here, we're done ganging. If you wanted to add anything small right here, you definitely could. Just remember, you have to cut these logos apart. So if you want to be efficient in your process, make sure you have enough space so you can cut quickly and not cut into your design. From here, we are ready to place our order. So we're just gonna confirm this entire right-hand side. First option is we're going with screen print. Our next option is goof proof, which is going to be the basic or standard screen print ink it can go on cotton and polyester. Next, it does make sure that you select the fabric content. The reason being is if you were to select nylon and choose goof proof, the order would not be pushed through because the adhesive on goof proof is not compatible with nylon. Let's say our shirt is 50-50 poly, cotton poly. I do not want uh, Transfer Express to cut this apart. If I did select yes, there would be an additional cost and there would be some rules and stipulations for production and cutting to make sure that they are able to cut efficiently and effectively, meaning it would be, um, there would be more space between the logos, uh, just simplified more of a grid type of cutting. It's confirming that we have a one color on here, so we will only be charged for one color art. And then if you want to select your um, apparel color, you would just come over here and select. Let's, let's have some fun and go bright. So we are choosing um, celery. And then next would be image quantity. Keep in mind, the image quantity is based on the sheet and not the individual logo. So if you are ordering 10, you are going to receive 10 of these sheets identically as you are seeing now. If you wanted to do any color adjustments or color changes, you could. There would be a small color fee and then you would select your new um, color. Well, let's go back. And then if you have any notes or concerns, um, you could put it in the order, order notes just for clarification. From here, if you drop down, you'll see apparel and share. You can do selection only. And I've selected the large logo. And what it's going to do is allow you to create a proof. Now, as you can see, this is showing um, our full layout. So if this was just one large design, you could see it here. You can adjust the watermark wording right at uh, by clicking this button. You can download the image. You can email and print from right here. You can search apparel. You can change the colors. There's a whole selection. So let's go back. Oops, sorry, click happy. So selection only, as you see, pulls up just the individual logo. 
and you are at least able to get a better idea. All right, let's go back. From here, we are done and complete. And as you can see, we're reviewing our order. We'll see screen print, goof proof, the full size of the transfer that we are utilizing, our one color, there's no color changes or custom colors, which can be requested. We're not cutting apart and we have requested 10 sheets. And from here, you can see the ship date, which would be on the second. Right now, we are um, May 28th. So it's giving you an idea on when your transfers would ship. Of course, the per image, which is the per sheet in this case, and your total price. All you have to do is hit add to cart. And as you can see, your artwork has now been added. I have duplicated this for um, a, a couple of other tests, but you can go in, you can delete and adjust and your order summary will adjust as well. You can also select and move the selected items to save. So if you are prepping for a customer's order, you can go ahead and execute your order and then just move it to save when they are ready to place as are you. You can go to your saved items and quickly just add it back to your cart. From here, you'll select continue to check out and it will move you through the payment and uh, shipping process. So as you can see, it is fairly simple. Everything is pretty much laid out for you. Don't be afraid to click in this, um, in this program. If you're not quite sure about something, you can easily hit the undo button. Nothing will place your order without fully going through the payment process. So don't be afraid to add to cart. Don't be afraid to go in and play, really gang the sheet. If you're not quite sure how many pieces the customer needs or what all of their orders will entail, you can go ahead and lay out a couple of different gang sheets and manipulate them as you need. Last but not least, I always encourage our customers to utilize the full sheet because you are paying for that 11 and a half by 14. If you have a three by three section that you can pop in your logo on that sheet, then do it because you can always utilize that as samples or as branding for the future. I hope this helps in getting started using the Easy View Designer, creating a one color design within their templates. And you know what? Don't be afraid to go in and just play with the application. If you have any questions, you know we're always here to help. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.